In this video, I'm going to show you how I changed my work computer's AIO cover from this to this. I had to remove the cover first. It popped right off. I sanded off the black coating using 600 grit wet dry sandpaper. The Cooler Master logo was being stubborn. It actually looked like the black outline was molded into the upper surface of the material. I wasn't getting anywhere with the 600 grit sandpaper, so I switched it up and tried some 220 grit sandpaper. But that didn't seem to work, so I went back over it with the 600 grit to get rid of the sanding marks. It's like they wanted to make sure their logo couldn't be changed. You're all fools if you think you can stop me! Since that logo wasn't very dark, almost shadow-like, I thought maybe I could reduce its visibility by adding some white vinyl to the top of the cover. The white vinyl should still allow the LEDs to show through. I trimmed most of the excess vinyl from the edges, but it wasn't perfect. Yet. I used some of that 600 grit sandpaper, sanding in one direction so the vinyl wouldn't lift. It did a good job of knocking down the rough edges of the vinyl. It looked good. In the light, the vinyl hid the logo. I gave it a quick test on the pump. Sorry, I didn't show the result of that test, but unfortunately, the logo was still faintly visible when it was lit up. You try my patience. Since there was a chance of the Cooler Master logo still slightly showing through, I just modified our logo a little to work around it. I made a sticker of our logo from a matte black vinyl. It was cut on our Graftech cutter, the excess vinyl removed, and then masked with a clear application tape. I secured the cover to the table with some tape so it didn't move around, peeled the backing off the sticker, and somehow managed to get it centered on the cover. The cover is curved, but the vinyl sticker is stretchy enough to conform to slight curves without requiring a heat gun. Now just to pop it back in the case and see how it looks. Hooray! Success! Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what you think and if you've ever thought about doing a project like this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to get notified of future projects. We have more computer-related mods coming soon. Stay tuned.